Lieutenant Moaz El Kassasba tried to die stoically. He belonged to and carried the honor of a powerful and respected Jordanian tribe. But ISIS reduced him to a supporting actor in the struggle between two men, ISIS chieftain Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, who fancies himself a caliph, the modern successor to the Prophet Muhammad, and Jordan's Hashemite king, who claims to be descended from the Prophet's actual bloodline. Al-Mujrima A criminal gang that has no relation to our noble religion, King Abdullah told Jordanians today, clearly invoking his Islamic credentials. But the video produced by ISIS was about something else, something nearly as powerful as religion itself, vengeance, and it was aimed at the Arab street. The video sketches King Abdullah's participation in the U.S.-led airstrikes against ISIS. It then purports to show victims of those strikes under rubble, an incinerated child, a crushed adult, a build-up meant to instill a desire for revenge against modern crusaders. Then the object of the vengeance appears on a forced march to his death, surrounded by ranks of identical figures meant to convey the lethal resolve of religious warriors. From the moment ISIS captured Kasaspa after his fighter bomber crashed, its leaders realized their luck at possessing such a valuable catch. Hundreds from Kasaspa's tribe, a crucial power base of the king, converged in Amman, demanding action. King Abdullah offered an unheard of concession, a trade. This imprisoned suicide bomber for the downed pilot. But ISIS, it appears, never intended any outcome but today's. As Kasaspa stood in a cage soaked with gasoline and trying to keep his composure, an ISIS executioner ignited a trail of fuel. Kasaspa burned, and the meaning was unsubtle, consumption by the flames of hell. When the fire hit him, he appeared to be praying, but no one can maintain dignity while burning. He flailed frantically and reflexively, and the ISIS video showed every moment of his death up close. The last scene, a front-end loader buried the cage and the corpse under rubble. No mistaking the meaning of that. The official reaction in Jordan, a promise of earth-shaking revenge and an announcement that the captive Iraqi that Abdullah offered to trade will now be executed immediately. But it almost certainly won't quench the public's anger entirely. Already, Kasaspa's tribesmen have denounced their king as a coward and a tool of the Americans, just as desired by the Islamists who covet and threaten Jordan itself. Neil MacDonald, CBC News, Washington.